Hey there, uh, this is Ryan Price again, and I'm just going to do a couple of little screencasts here about some of the new features in Firefox. One of them that I just kind of discovered by accident, uh, I was looking through Firefox, browsing around, and I noticed that if you were to right-click on a tab, you get this new little option that says Pin is Tab. So let's say that it's a website that I know I want to visit often. So I go to the home page of the Android market here and I just want to uh, get easy access to it all the time I just right click on the tab here and I say pin as app tab now it reduces that whole tab down to basically just a little tiny icon um, let's say it's Google Music as well and this is really nice because if you were to open up a whole bunch of new tabs it leaves those there even once your tab starts scrolling right so you can always get back to your music and discover whatever it was that you were working on playing there. Um, another thing, you know, you might want to do this with Gmail if you keep Gmail open all day, or Google Analytics if you want to come back and check, or, uh, you know, your blog if it's a place that you visit often, you want to go write a quick post, wherever that happens to be. And uh, that's kind of cool. Another one that I want to show you, this has been in Firefox for a little while, it's a, called Tab Groups. And basically what you can do is you've got a list of tabs here, and I guess it's got my little tiny uh, app tabs there. It's kind of neat. I haven't seen this yet. So let's say I want to take my blog and Gmail and Google Analytics, and I want to throw those all into one group. Um, and now what I can do is sort of in a very quick fashion, I can switch back and forth between these tabs, either by pushing this button here and then going over to one of these tabs, or there is a hot key for it, which I believe is escape. And you can do the same thing. So go ahead and check out tab groups and pinning tabs as application tabs in the new Firefox. And you can uh, check that out here at mozilla.com. And you can get the mobile version, the beta version, and what they call the Aurora version, which is like their alpha version of Firefox. All right.